Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three decks of cards today. We're going to connect with your energy, your person's energy, and the energy around your connection. We're going to bring in the beautiful power animal oracle cards by Stephen Farmer. And I'm also going to bring in two amazing decks by Mystic Moon, the Arrows of Love Tarot and the Arrows of Love Oracle. Love these decks as well. Love the little cupids on here as well. So cute and pretty. So let's connect and see what we need to know. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So what's the energy around you today? What's the energy around you today? A message for you today. One card. What's the message around your person? Thank you, angels. And the energy around the journey. Well, these cards are making themselves known, but we just got one card. Wow, very clear message. With the Arrows of Love Oracle, what's the energy around you? Jump straight out. We've got three cards there. What's the energy around your person and the energy around your connection right now? I feel that they are doing lots of deep thinking right now, especially about the way they want things to be when they return to you. And then we're going to bring in the Power Animal Oracle cards here. The Power Animal Oracle. So an energy around you right now. An energy around you. Wow, these cards are flying out. Okay, the other cards went back in and that card jumped out there. So an energy around them today and an energy around the connection. Wow, flying out for the journey here. So a few cards coming out for the journey. Amazing. I've got one card on the floor. Two cards. No, one card. There we go. Okay, let's see what's going on. Now, physically, I feel there may be some sleepless nights taking place right now. So you may be really feeling tired right now because they are feeling really tired right now. And when we can't shut down at night, it's because our mind is active. We're overthinking. We're stressing. We're going over the day or we're going over the past or we're stressing over the future. So I do feel there may be some sleepless nights taking place because I am feeling this sense of urgency around them where they want to meet up with you. They want to reconnect with you. They want to sort things out. They want to clear the air. And they are feeling very guilty and very ashamed of what they've done. So the energy around you today is the three of arrows, painful loss. So don't worry if you feel you've lost them because you haven't. You can't lose the other half of your soul. You can't lose what's meant for you. It may feel like heartbreak right now. It may feel like they have moved away or they are ignoring you or ghosting you or not around you. But it's the opposite. They are in love with you and this will move forward. So if it feels like a painful loss, remember it's growing you and it's making you stronger. And it's giving you the opportunity right now to connect in another way. You know, when we're not around our person physically, we're able to connect with them spiritually. We're able to connect with them through telepathy, dreams, and a feeling of a spiritual understanding. And there may be painful loss around long distance. You know, you may be missing them because you may feel miles away from them. You know, you may have a long distance connection. So it may be that you live in one country, they live in another. And you're feeling that distance today. You're wanting them to come back to you. And you're feeling all this want. It feels like there's this craving energy and wanting energy. But that really is reciprocated. Now, what I'm feeling as well here is you can feel there's a distance between you, even if you live in the same country, even if you live in the same street, even if you live in the same building, because if you're not together or you're not communicating, it can feel like you are miles away. And that's really what I'm getting here. This long distance is not going to last. And I'm also getting that energy of a reuniting, coming back together in a romantic way. You can see you've got the Eiffel Tower there as well. Someone may be connecting with Paris here, but I feel that this is about coming together in a very romantic way. You know, going to a distant, like a destination or going somewhere long distance, somewhere that it's going to work. So I feel this could also be about missing each other because of the distance between you. But you are coming together. And there may be interference from others around right now. There could also be long distance interference. Maybe they are speaking to someone online or... There's someone online around them that is causing or has caused some kind of interference. Maybe that's gone into your head. Maybe that's caused you to distrust them or it's brought in pain for you. And you feel now there's a distance between you because you may be affected by what other people are doing. Remember, if that's going on, that's an opportunity for you to rise above it and not take it personally and to remember your value and worth. There's nobody like you and they know that too. 
And also this is true love. How can people interfere with true love? Roses are red, this is true love. So if you start seeing a red rose, it's a symbol of the true love. It's also a symbol of passion and fire. And it's a symbol of an apology on the way. I feel they want to apologise to you for anyone that may have interfered into your connection. Anyone that may have been long distance that's interfered, that means they may have been somewhere else. They may have connected with them online in some way for an ego boost and it's affected you. It's brought in a painful loss. It may have caused a problem. So let go of the fear and know that everything you're going through is growing you. It's giving you wisdom. It's making you wiser. The owl is that symbol there of wiser, of being wise, of, of wisdom. And also the owl speaks to you in a powerful way. You've got the signs there. So the signs are speaking to you. And when we receive signs, whether they are in nature or on social media or in any other way, we get wise to what's going on. We understand. We don't take things personally. We recognize that everything that happens grows our soul. So everything we go through, including the outside circumstances or the people, interference, it all happens so we are aware of what the love is that nothing can break the bond, that nothing can really interfere with these apart from our own ego, our mind blowing things out of proportion and making things up. So pay attention to the signs you receive because you've been shown an omen. That means you've been shown a preview of what's to come and you've been reminded that the apology is coming for you and this is true love, that they are going to open back up to you and show you how they feel. And the owl can also spin its head all the way around. So it's able to see things in all ways, from all perspectives. The owl also thrives at night. So it's also about seeing through the darkness and the illusion and the fear. But what I'm really getting here is your love is true. Nothing can interfere with that. Even if someone's tried to get with your person or be around them or, you know, seduce them in some way, it doesn't matter because nothing can break the bond. And even if you are far away from each other, that distance will not create any form of separation in the mind and the heart and the soul because you are one. So if you feel you're going through a painful loss, try and see this in a higher way. Wow, we've got police cars going past as well. And I feel that's connected with the red flag. So remember, you know, you may feel there's a red flag or there's interference here. You know, someone is affecting the connection, but everything is really moving things into place for you. So the high priestess, trust your vibes, is coming through from them. So, you know, they are feeling this vibration right now where they are connecting with their own intuition. They know through their vibration and their feelings that you've had a life together before, that you are past lovers. And there are the roses again. They know because of the way they feel in their vibration, the way they feel in their heart and soul, the way they feel in their gut instinct, their intuition, that you are true lovers, that you've had a life together, that you've spent time before. And they are coming through as the hawk here because they are now focused on choosing their priorities. They are saying to you, I'm choosing myself to choose you. They are making themselves a priority right now so that they can actually connect back with themselves, which leads to you. Because it's never about them choosing someone else over you or there being a choice between you and someone else or something else. It's always the fact that they still haven't yet chosen themselves. And when they make themselves their own priority and they eliminate all distractions to do that by going within, they will always choose you. And I feel that's what they're doing. They're making you aware if there's been interference or distractions, they are moving away from those things, people, situations, because they don't serve them or the connection. They are realizing right now that people around them may be toxic to them. They're not helping them, they are hindering them. They're getting in the way of their focus, their growth, their spiritual journey. And the hawk is making sense of things, seeing things in a higher way. Don't get confused between the hawk and the eagle. The eagle is a sign they are returning to you. The hawk is a symbol that they are focusing on their priorities and seeing things in a higher way and working on themselves to come towards you. So the energy around the connection is the dolphin. So make it playful right now. Take time for you to play, to relax about things, to breathe, to find your own inner child wisdom and to lighten up. Look at this, hummingbird bringing in joy, dolphin bringing in playfulness. So there needs to be a lighter energy in the connection, especially when you come back together instead of dredging up the past or going over what happened or making it all serious, bring in some light energy. The hummingbird is about the sweetness of life, remembering who you are in your power. 
and enjoying just feeling light-hearted and more at ease with things as well. We've got the panther for passion. So follow your passions. They will return to you because you're their passion. And they are also speaking to you through telepathy. And your journey is guarded because you were always guarded. You were always safe. You were always protected. So remember, if you're not together right now, there is a protection taking place. So don't wallow in self-pity today. Thinking how bad everything is. Worrying about other people stressing because when we release things we create better things in the autumn season in the fall the tree loses its leaves it doesn't cry about it it gets excited because it grows back new fresh ones so something is growing from this release to bring the connection in and you may feel right now that your connection is in the spotlight you may feel like all eyes are on you because you're going through a heartbreak or a pain you may be receiving attention because of that, but you've got this and you are safe because this journey has got the potential to grow, to grow again. So what's broken is growing. What's broken is being rebuilt. What falls apart falls together. And that's what you're being shown. So if you're thinking, oh, it's all over and, you know, they're not giving me attention anymore and I'm in the spotlight because I feel this way and all this pain's going on. Think again because there's so much potential for your love to grow. And they are focusing on themselves right now to choose themselves as a priority, to eliminate all the distractions stopping them from being their authentic self, to focus on you. And they are aware that you've had a past love. They know it's true love because that's what their vibration is saying to them. Everything else is illusion here everything else so if you feel there's someone around them causing problems like a karmic partner or someone sending black magic or interference all you need to do is have faith in the love because this love is true and real nothing can get in the way of the love if you feel there's a loss right now this has got so much potential to grow and i feel that in the future you're going to visit somewhere romantic like paris or rome or venice or somewhere really romantic to spend time together so pay attention to the signs because they are showing you this love is growing. It's not over. It's just beginning. And that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.